Okay, so you wanna find the love of your life, right? Or maybe you just clicked on it because you wanna know why I put quotations on a couple of those words in the middle of the sentence. By the end of this video, I am going to tell you exactly how you can get lucky and find the love of your life just like I did. And why you'll probably never use that phrase again. My name is Colt and I am part of Colt and Ange and this is Part of Love, the channel devoted to helping you find the love you deserve. If you are a first time viewer, this is your first time here or for whatever reason, like you come here but you're not subscribed to the channel, we would love for you to consider subscribing so you never miss another part of love. Comment below, let us know your thoughts and let us know what you wanna see on the channel in the future and if possible, we'll get it in the queue. Okay, let's start with luck. Because when I met Ange, I hit the jackpot. Jackpot. For those that are new here, Ange is Angelina, my incredibly awesome, insanely talented, wicked hot wife that I met and fell in love with a decade ago on Broadway and we're best friends and she's awesome. And if you want to get caught up on all the juicy gossip of how we met and what all went down with that, you can check out the playlist right here where we tell our love story from then to now complete with all of the actual ups and downs of true love. So, when I met Ange, I thought of this exact saying. I had finally gotten lucky enough to find the girl of my dreams. And for years, I said it all the time. I mean, come on, I was 24, I was living in New York City, I was on my first Broadway show, and I found the girl I'm gonna marry. Game over, man, like, how lucky can I be? Before we break down everything that is wrong with what I just said, I wanna give you my favorite definition of what luck is. Luck is preparedness meets opportunity. I mean, come on. So let's go back to what I said before, but now with a little more context. First, the job thing, because I think explaining that will help explain the love thing. I was living in New York City. I was on my first Broadway show. I started training to have a career in the arts pretty late in my early life. Like I was already a teenager when I started dancing. So I knew pretty immediately, like I had a ton of catching up to do. That meant getting to school early to train extra. That meant staying late after school to train extra. And that was just to get into college where I did the same thing for four more years. Although it was also college, so I didn't do it quite as well. And then I get out of college, I'm on my first touring jobs and I'm working professionally, but before every show, I was doing a full dance class. I was going over the show, the show that I had done over a thousand times. So when I got my first Broadway show, of course I was ecstatic. I remember literally doing a flip in the street when I found out. I was fortunate, but I wasn't lucky. Like I just said, I worked so much to be prepared for that opportunity. You you might see where I'm going with this. I feel like that's a pretty common thing. When it comes to career or something physical, if we're talking about working out, we're fine to go like work really hard to hit a certain goal. We see that as totally natural. But when it comes to relationships, there's some kind of disconnect. We don't, we don't wanna work. We want everything to just be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, which is a thing that I say now, apparently. Now, about that other thing I said. I had finally gotten lucky enough to find the girl of my dreams. I didn't just like meet Ange and we didn't have to do any work and we were both perfect and everything was perfect and <laughs> smooth sailing. I was not the same person then that I am now. And when I met Ange, I had to really start looking at myself every day cause she had like this really perfect bullshit detector and just no problem calling me out on it. So to have this beautiful love that I always wanted, I was gonna have to train my brain the same way I trained my body as a performer. And that's what we've both spent the last 10 plus years doing. Yes, we are in an awesome relationship, yes. We are married and happy, but we're happy because we keep working. Just like when I got that job and I kept training to be better in it and whatever was next, that's what's happening here in this relationship. We actively think about how we can be better for each other and more than that, how we can be better for ourselves to be better in the relationship as a whole. And that, that's not luck, it's just work, just like anything else. Question, do you want love to just come in a neatly wrapped package with a little 
bow on top and a note that says, just for you. Yes! Okay, whoa. I know at first that sounds cool, but that's not what love is. And it gets treated like that. Love is not just some thing. Love is an action. And love takes time. Lust can come pre-packaged. That's, that's what that package is. Do you want that package? Yes! Would you stop? Love is about growing and changing and choosing that person again and again. Not because you have to, but because you want to keep growing and changing with them. So, about that present. If a perfectly wrapped package shows up on your proverbial doorstep, except that this person who looks all shiny and new is actually just a real human person that's looking for the same things you are. But they're not acknowledging that love doesn't come pre-packaged. It's a journey you have to take together. I did that a lot. When I first met Ange, I would act like the perfect person. I was trying really hard to say the exact perfect thing or do the perfect thing or I wanted to fit into whatever mold she thought that she wanted. But that wasn't love. That was me trying to lie for a good reason, I guess. You could say it that way. That's not how we fell in love. We fell in love over the truest parts of ourselves. And those were the messiest parts. They weren't the shiny ones. They weren't easy, but they were real. The point is, you don't find true love. You meet someone and you both choose to grow together. And that is what it means to be lucky enough to find the love of your life. And knowing that is a part of love. Only one part of what I said before was totally 100% true, needs no qualification. When I met Ange, I hit the jackpot. Okay, thank you so much for checking out today's video. Uh, if you look over here, there's a subscribe button. Is it? No, it's down here. So it's right here. We've got some videos here and here. Check those out. This one right here is probably the best one for you to watch after this one. Just recommend, just like my recommendation, what do I know? I just listen to what Ange tells me.